Kidneys are organs in the body. They're located in the back and they're about the size of a fist. And they're the organs that help filter the blood and help you get rid of toxins. They function to get rid of excess fluid, excess water, excess salts and poisons that accumulate in your body as you eat and go through everyday life. Filtered waste and fluids are collected in the bladder and eventually leave the body as urine. African Americans and other minorities are more likely to get diabetes, which is the number one cause of kidney failure in the United States and now probably the world. Other risk factors for kidney disease include hypertension or high blood pressure, protein in the urine, polycystic kidney disease, and a family history of kidney disease. And so if people can see their doctor and get that information early and know what their blood pressure is and control their diabetes, then that decreases the progression to kidney failure. Okay, here we go. And then one day, my body told me, I'm going to stop you. I'm going to stop you from doing this because you're trying to kill me, mm -hmm. so I am going to stop you. I heard that. The next thing I knew, I had this situation where as fast as I put it in, it came, put it in here, it came out down there. I had a renal specialist that took a look at me and he said, well, right now you got about 60% of your kidney function. They also explained that it's not, you can't reverse this process. Kidney disease means that the kidneys aren't functioning 100%, and we measure that by something called the estimated GFR, which basically equals the percent of function. People can live with different stages of kidney disease for quite a while. If somebody's in stage five kidney disease, that means that their kidneys are not functioning well. They're functioning at only about 15% or less. When they get to stage five, that is when they need to have some kind of kidney replacement therapy. And each time I would go in, I, my percentage would drop. That was my percentage of kidney function. And I was determined not to, I was determined not to go into di dialysis uh, because it's like I can hold out, you know, I know it's, I know it's at 10%. I was getting tired easily, you know, I wasn't able to kind of get tasks done at work. Eventually you're just going to, you know, not feel well because <laughs> the toxins are building up in your body and, uh, and, and so it, it's just, it's hard to imagine feeling well again. When kidneys start to fail, they can't filter properly. Toxins such as urea and other electrolytes such as salts, potassium and phosphate begin to build up in the body. This is called uremia and can lead to a number of problems like bone disease and anemia. Anemia means the red blood cell count is low. This is often treated with a shot called EPO or erythropoietin. As toxins build, patients with uremia may experience swelling, nausea and vomiting. They may feel very tired due to a drop in their red blood cell count. And all those things sort of culminate into a person feeling um, very sick, but it sort of takes a long time for that to occur, so it may come on very gradually, and, um, and people may not know that they're actually feeling worse, they're feeling sicker. And so they may not be able to do the activities that they normally do. At some point you have to say, you know what, I know I'm, I'm tired all the time, I have to come home, and when I take a nap, it doesn't even felt like I took a nap, you know. I'm gonna have to make some, some decisions. I started dialysis. It was in 2002, and um, that was one of the worst times of my life. I thought my life was over. I couldn't do anything for myself anymore. People sometimes feel that when they get kidney failure or they've been told that they have kidney failure, that it's a death sentence and that they are going to die. But that is not the case because we have dialysis, we have transplantation, we have all these things that we can do to help people survive and get through dialysis and, and actually get a transplant. Mm -hmm. Whole wheat and honey is actually one of Whole wheat and honey? Yeah, this one right here? So I had to start taking steps to make sure that I would be around for a while.